Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we'll be discussing on Metronic's latest version, Metronic 8. So first thing is you need to download your latest version of Metronic, and you can do that by visiting Keen Teams uh, or visiting Team Forest and then purchasing Metronic. Uh, if you already have Metronic purchased, you can just download the latest update file and it should look something like this. So here, so this will be the zip file that you downloaded, and once you unzip it, you will be greeted with uh, two, one folder and a and a zip file. One uh, the zip file is basically you get Metronic Seven, and then you also get Metronic Eight. Metronic Seven is uh, what we already have, like in our previous version, and Metronic Eight is where we have the latest and greatest of Metronic utilizing Bootstrap Five. Now, Metronic 8 is our most advanced enterprise-ready solution, uh, simply because it has a unified core framework like um, SAS, JavaScript, Webpack, and GOP, all unified or um, built in a way where it's a very flexible and scalable design system. It also comes with all these fully functioning, uh, real-world business-oriented solutions. So when you go into the Bootstrap 5 folder, uh, the HTML Bootstrap 5 folder, you get our theme and then our demo and our tools folder similarly with our version 7 uh, Metronic. So our tools is our same uh, the same build tools function that we have in a previous version and in demo 1 we have again similar uh, folder structure the dist and source. Source is where we have the JS, uh, our JS, our media files and SAS files and whatnot and our dist files is where we keep all of our uh, HTML files. So if you load up our index, you will see Metronic 8 running right off the bat. And again, as I mentioned, we this is running um, using Bootstrap 5 and it has a lot of custom or extended uh, components from Bootstrap 5. All of the assets like the CSS and JS are fully optimized for enhanced uh, responsive layouts, um, even like better performance, uh, like a speedier, more snappier um, movements, such as, for example, if you get uh, our, we have um, a search bar here where we have real world or working components such as this. So if I do a quick, a random search, like so, you can see um, like demo um, results popping up like this and you can again customize the results as much as you want but um, what we're trying to de demonstrate here is all these functions here are fully working and you, there's minimal uh, customization to be done by uh, yourself or within your project itself so I can do a quick test for a chat you see it's typing and then we have uh, again a demo reply one thing that we just like to mention that uh, was improved in version eight is there you you no, um, you no longer need to have any CSS or SAS coding within your project simply because it's already built in within all the CSS classes via utility classes or Bootstrap extended Bootstrap five classes. And what we mean by that is, so as you can see here, if you inspect like the button, you have. Uh, the button class, the, the button small class, and even the colors, it comes with it. And all of our components, everything you can see here, are 100% just using uh, Bootstrap classes. So you do not need any CSS or SAS um, coding required. All of Metronix pages are also um, back in Metron 8. Like we have our profile pages working JavaScripts, um, we have different projects that you can use for project samples, like you have a project page or maybe a, a project summary, some budgeting samples with all, again, um, working components. We even have like um, error catching and uh, form validations. So for example, if you go to our Let's see, for example, if you go to say an account or maybe authentication and we go for a simple sign up like this, 
So if you continue here, you get an error right off the bat. Simply because, like I mentioned, like I mentioned the error catching and form validations are already built in uh, within Metronic 8. So if I say this, this happens. And if I put something random, again, error catching is all there. Another thing great that we have with, with Metronic 8 is our new documentation. So if you have a look at our documentation, you can see it's a brand new layout. All of our getting started um, functions are listed here. You have our build for our got build, our webpack build. Um, this is um, an example of what multi demo is, our file structure, customization on how you can uh, customize our SAS files, like we mentioned, like our where our variables are, our layout, and so on, and even JavaScript, how you can customize JavaScript. And of course, we have our RTL version, our layout uh, builder, and um, certain like updates what we have with uh, Metronic 8, our change log and references. But what one thing I really want to point out is our server side integration. At the moment, we have Blazor. So as you can see, how we can integrate the Blazor framework within Metronic. And of course, this is just the first of the many that will be coming soon. Um, what we are planning in uh, in our future roadmap will be like uh, .NET, uh, Python, Ruby, and etc. cetera. Uh, again, similar with our server side integration, we also plan to integrate other front-end frameworks as per our previous versions of Metronic. We, we are planning to have um, uh, React, uh, Vue, Angular uh, to be included into Metronic 8 along with all the other demos that we have from the previous versions. Now, um, with our new documentation, you can also browse through our like our utility or components within Metronic. Like we have utilities here uh, where you can use utility classes like um, spacings, uh, font size and line height and stuff like that. Uh, or like you can go to helper classes, you can see our new flex extended flex uh, classes like we have roots we have um, column auto column fluid and again this is other sample code that you can use um, text colors um, like that yeah variations of different colors like we have the light version we have inverse colors we even have hover classes and all these are all extended from bootstrap version 5 and a lot and a whole lot more of components that are extended from Bootstrap 5. So have a browse through of all our components here. And all these tags or all the all these badges that we listed here uh, with the batch exclusive. Um, these are exclusive or rather custom components that is only available within Metronic 8. Uh, that, that, that's not available within Bootstrap itself. For example, badges are available within Bootstrap by default. Like all these badges are readily available in Bootstrap, but Metronic has its own like customization to make it look and feel to match the Metronic um, UI and design. However, if you look at something like bullets, we have um, customized bullet layouts like this, or even with colors, uh, this is like a horizontal pill looking thing, a bullet, and this would be a dot, and then this would be a vertical style, and we have lines and different sizes for bullets. So we've extended bullets from Bootstrap and made it uh, our own. Uh, another powerful tool or powerful component that we have is a rotate where you can actually rotate icons like this is a set say this is the default icon um, alignment or direction and if you change it to 90 degrees it'll be pointing down 180 degrees 180 degrees it pointing to the other side and 270 basically it's rotating 270 degrees and also negative values work so how you use it is you just have to do a dot rotate with the degree angle that you want and you have a 90, 180 and so on. 
you also we also have toggle functionality for our rotate so if you click on um, certain elements that has a toggle function it will just rotate the thing as um, what you've selected and the sample HTML code is just like this and you can also include um, your JavaScript but the JavaScript is mainly just for triggering the active state not triggering the animation itself and this is an example of a collapse um, icon moving or rotating um, from its active state and non-active state so we have a variety of exclusive components here and all this is all ready um, uh, ready made all, all these are ready-made solutions for your project utilizing Metronix 8 and Bootstrap 5. And last but not least, I would like to update you guys that most of Metronix 8 um, JS files are now written using ES6 standards and no longer using the older versions like ES5 and older or even jQuery uh, unless absolutely required. So therefore, since we are using ES6, uh, most of our GUP and Webpack uh, build tools have been refracted to support or to be compatible with ESX standards. Now comes to the updating your Metronic 7 to Metronic 8. Unfortunately, since uh, Bootstrap, um, Metronic 8 is using Bootstrap 5 and Metronic 7 is using Bootstrap 4 and Bootstrap 4 and 5, they are not compatible. Like um, one is, they're, they're, they're not fully compatible from one or the other and therefore similar to that Metronic 8 uh, cannot be com uh, fully compatible with a uh, Metronic 7 project so my suggestion or our suggestion to you would be if you need Metronic 8 within your project and you already have Metronic 7 running or you already have Metronic 7 on your, your current project uh, you can't slap on Metronic 8, like the assets for Metronic 8, then just have a go with it. it. It just won't work. So in order for you to update, you kind of need to do some sort of refactoring. And to, the easiest way or the best way to do that is to first look at your project and find the components that match uh, what you have. Like for example, if you have a, like this sales statistics um, component in your project, then of course Metronic 8 has it and then you can just rebuild it or just reuse this component and then relink your backend and uh, any other scripts that you have um, within your project. And um, yep, I think that's it for this video. I hope you can um, go ahead and try out the latest version of Metronic, ver Metronic version 8. And, and I hope you can, uh, once you get your hands on, uh, get your hands on it, uh, you realize how much uh, how snappy how much more snappy it is how much more optimized it is in terms of responsiveness in terms of performance and in, in even in terms of code quality and yeah we we are really happy with what we have so far and since we're using the latest version of bootstrap moving forward um, we are kind of um, reaching to a point where we want to be future proofing our newer versions from now onwards. So if you like this video, um, give us a thumbs up and also um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel so the next time we release a future video on our new version of Metroid, Metroid version 8, you get an update. So please also follow us on our um, Twitter and Facebook, links will be in the description below and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.